Hey you guys, today I'll be setting up a little grow space here in the garage. I'm really excited to put this together with you guys. Now I've been growing in the garage here throughout the winter. Also like a couple of uh, plants from the patio space I've brought inside such as the variegated kertuk. It's a tropical vegetable. It's pretty sensitive to the cold so it's been staying here under the grow light all winter. But right now I'm going to be putting together a um, kind of like a grow box but a more like a panel style just so it would suit my space better. Now what's really great about growing in a light box is that you get to really concentrate the light, the super bright light in this small space so that you're really using the energy efficiently. Since you're growing it, you know, you're, you're paying for your electricity anyway, you might as well get the best use out of it. By concentrating in this box, you're also getting a much you know, brighter environment to get your plants or your seedlings to grow or to germinate. about ways of how I can build this frame out and uh, what I decided on was to use the Thriving Designs Sea Bites to put this frame together which is right here. Now if you guys have been watching my videos you have seen the humongous trellis that I've built for the loofah and then I've utilized the Thriving Designs Sea Bites to snap on and put together like tomato cages or any kind of trellises from large scale to small scale whatever you can. Uh, whatever you can think of using it for and it's just so versatile when you're done with it you can take it down and so I decided to utilize that and build something inside to get myself you know some seeds germinated uh, to get them started then I would move them out to the patio space to make this frame I'm sure there's many ways that you guys can think of different types of materials to use to put this together because all you can I mean you don't even need to use you know the seed bites you can just tie strings together and put it, you know, uh, make the structure for the light box. But by utilizing the sea bites, it's really easy to just snap on and remove and then I can move these, uh, you know, to the patio space whenever the space is done. Now to make a light box, I actually need some sort of uh, border around this frame. So what I will be putting around this frame or this structure would be, uh, what is it called? Reflective film. And this one that I'm using is actually really durable. It feels, it's really thick, it's waterproof, and it feels like, like a nice thick banner. That sort of material. But you guys can use like foil or paper, whatever you can think of. You can even at least use white paper. Anything that's at least light color, glossy, or at least just some sort of reflective, you know, so that it can really just trap the lights in and um, have it concentrate on your plants. 
Another tool that I've been really enjoying through the winter because I have the reflectors is something I believe it's called a grommet. This tool has been so handy for me. You basically can put these, uh, you know, the the little metal rings things, the grommets in there, and you just clamp it and make like hole punch on the. Uh, on the reflective film and to do that it actually makes this process so much easier to put it together on here it's going to be really sturdy it won't tear because I have the grommet on just like this other side here I've built with the grommets all along this is a a a wire rack that has wheels so it's super practical for this space for me I can push it wherever I need to and then I just basically made the turn the reflective film into like a, a curtain basically so I'm kind of been doing the same thing here so I can utilize this space for uh, growing so let me show you guys how the process is done so this looks a little flimsy here just because it's it's just built on the ground I mean on concrete here so I have just uh, this extra piece here on the top I just have it tied against the um, the shelf here so after I have put this together the structure the next thing I did was to measure out and cut sheets of this uh, film and I added the grommets on all around the borders that's about it. So let's get started with the first one. Um, oh, I'm gonna use these. You can use strings. I mean, once you hole punch it, you can use like curtain hooks or you can use or strings. I just happen to have these lying around. I like to get extra ones of these, so they're just really handy. Alright, here's my next one. Finally, we're going to do this last one here. You guys ready to see this? Oh my gosh! That's the brightest it can go. I'm gonna dim it a little bit so I don't go blind. Let's move the plants in. Yeah. <laughs> You're so tired. 
Here is my makeshift shelf or stand. Done. <laughs> well, there you have it. It is definitely really bright in here. I'm really glad I made this and uh, hopefully the plants would be happy in here because they were doing pretty well without this light box uh, before so I'm sure this is going to be even better help to speed up the growth even faster now. And um, in being in the garage, it keeps them, well, there's no heat in here, but at least I think it's keeping them warmer than being outside. So this is how I'm going to be doing some of my seedling startups and whatever that's needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in picking up some of the Thriving Design Sea Bites and um, to snap on and build your own trellis or whatever you need to do with it. Be sure to go use my link though, which would offer you free shipping. Be sure to use my code. I'll leave the link down below this video for you guys. Another couple of pointers I want to share with you guys is that if you want to get your seeds started at a faster rate without, you know, uh, paying extra is that there are some warm places in the house if you want to look into like putting your seedlings like a tray of seeds your seed tray you can leave it uh -oh. timer just went out anyway <laughs> that means it is 11 p.m. right now other ways to germinate your seeds would be to put your tray in just any locations in the house that you find that would get warmth for example if you have a windowsill where you know you can catch some uh, sunlight during the daytime or you can find like warm spots like um, right below the vent but just be sure that it won't blow and dry out your seedlings but if you have a dome over it then that's perfect so you can just leave that right below the vent and it'll give that uh, give that warmth to really boost the germination rate and another one would be another option Another option would be to, sometimes I would put the seedlings on top of the dryer whenever I run the, dry, the dryer. It's, it gets quite warm up there so I would just at least utilize that period to put some seedlings on top. So um, yep, so those are my tips for you guys. And uh, oh, one last one is that you can even bring them outside if you I mean if you're home often you can just take them outside and bring them back in once it cools down a bit so it can get a little bit of sun but if you do have a dome on top of uh, over your seedlings just be sure you don't get them burned so do go out and and check on your your seedlings if you leave them right below the sun so that's about it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that I will see you guys back here again and uh, follow me on Facebook or Instagram where I do some instant updates of my life that you don't get to see on this channel. Also, if you would like to support my work, I really would appreciate it. Please go check out my website at wonderland.com. I will leave all the information that I just mentioned in this video and um, the tools that I used and all that sort of good stuff just in the uh, description box below this video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Happy gardening. See you soon in the next video. Bye.